Hello everyone. We're, uh, back trying the uh we're, we're working on the six uh okay, so. go, go, go. Okay, do not get killed. Your or mirrors immediately die. Okay, good to know. No? Or is the better last or this time than the last time? Perfect. I really do like the e rig ships. Fire while the shield's up. And you've did really good work there, Mr. Wig. Shoot. Uh, Jean Coraz, so let's go ahead and send a different new wig. Okay, that should be the last one. Now we go on to the Sumatra, I believe. Greetings, human friends. We know you're about to be attacking us, and don't like being into Alright, well, we got a, uh... Hmm, this is sort of interesting. Is, uh, I like those reinforcements, and I didn't get very many because, you know, reasons. Uh, I, um... Okay, human. You made it pat out some moment. Oh, that's that screen. You're his oh, man, right uh, that. The Sumatra is protected by a thick shell of human memory. Uh -huh. Only opening to the asteroid shield is covered with a powerful force screen. Uh -huh. One touch of that screen, you're history, Captain. Like to destroy every... the Sumatra, you'll have to destroy the shield generators embedded in the asteroid mm -hmm. shell. Yep, yep, yep. To drop yep. the force screen, you'll have to destroy all eight of them. When the screen is down, bring in your flagship, move into the asteroid shell, and then press the big red button on your controls. That starts the detonation sequence. Your escape pod will eject automatically. Just hope you're far enough away before that ship blows. Okay, human, this is it. The last battle. Your final okay, moment so of time. Okay, so you have to move the flagship in, so... Up. In case you're wondering, I'm not going with you, Captain. I'm staying on board. Why, you ask? Because I'm locked in here, idiot! Get me out! <laughs> help! Help! Okay, so, um... I think we should probably start up. Start with the big guns. And we're going to start batting around. Oh, the zap staff even helped me attack. That's awesome. Oh, got one down. I no longer have any zap stats. Okay. No! It's 
stupid purple thing of purpleness. It's going again. There goes another shield generator. Now, if they just put the shield generators on the inside... Well, perfect! Now, if I were to fly my Shimmer avatar into the Sumatra... Okay, uh, good job, Zartzin. Now I have to fly the flagship in. Well, there we go. Apparently it's much bigger than me. Oh, there's my escape pod. I apparently hit the big red button. I look really young. Maybe standing by the window wasn't such the best idea in either. Oh, hello. was definitely the right way to be dead. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, that was about the time I heard Talana's voice. Yeah, yeah, not an angel telling me to stop babbling and listen for a moment. <laughs> she told me that the escape pod had almost been torn in half. I had been unconscious for over three weeks. That's impressive. Yeah, window bad idea, but my crew and I had good our mission. The force of the explosion amplified by the Chimur crystals. Had vaporized sufficiently, had been sufficient to vaporize the Sumatra. Woohoo! And following the destruction of the Sumatra battle platform, the fleets of the Urquan Korra had fallen to chaos. And had been vanquished by the Shimmer forces and allied starships. And it was pretty awesome. Uh huh. She said that there was something she thought I'd like to see. I pulled myself up and looked around. It's Earth! Six base, star base, looking at Earth. Neath me throbbed the thick red glow of Urquan's life shield. Talana smiled and said that for the past few days, Shmurf had been working on lowering the shield. It only took them a few seconds on their planet, and that it should be neutralized right about. Flare of incandescent light, the shield is still vanished. And for the first time in my life, I saw the true colors of Earth. Blue and greens, and a thousand different shades. As we watched, we could see the first signs of ships coming up from Earth. Wait, what? They built ships? They lifted from the planet's surface. Just in space, the destiny of mankind had been delayed for over 20 years. Now our world was free and nothing could stop us. Twenty years doesn't seem much compared to the thrash. <laughs> so they've been hospital for almost a month. That day. That day I watched the shield fall and beautiful Talana stood at my side. I'll never forget the day, not for the rest of my life. Woohoo. But grandfather, then what happened? Yeah, how did you get home? How long did it take before you and Grandma finally got married? <laughs> oh, well, we intended to come right home. We got a little sidetracked. This is back on Uzer Vault, clearly. Delana and I didn't make it back here to Uzer Vault until almost five years later. But Grandfather, what happened? Where did you go? Certainly wasn't Star Control 3. And how did you find the Mark 2? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is... That's my children. is an entirely different story.
and Frenzy. Of course. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, uh, well, I suppose that's the end. Can you just hear them in their cute little fringy voices? <sighs> so you probably thought I was dead, didn't you? Well, I'm not. I got away from the ship at the last second. And now I'm really gonna cause some trouble. In fact, that's what the sequel's about, going to be about. Yes, that's the ticket. Me and my exciting adventures. As I conquer the galaxy for the greater glory of me. It will have action! It will have drama! It will have... <laughs> it's, it's gonna be great! Oh, hi guys. Hold it, I'm getting sick of this stupid dialogue. Who wrote this stuff? A five-year-old. <laughs> I'll try it again, sigh. Happy campers are the best. It is good to smell you again. <laughs> That's all you have to say? Yes, goodbye. Hello again, heroic humanoid. Ever since you returned the Ultron to us, everything has been wonderful. Just perfect. You guys have voice Within actors? just two days, our factories will begin churning out appropriate facial appliances. And I have already picked out my first mask. The Domino of Unrivaled Merriment. Yes, we are all ecstatic. Even the High Proctor gambles as she performs the exultant caper of revelation. Look how she leaps with the Ultron held high. How she twists, how she twirls, how she slips and, and tosses the Ultron into the air. Oh no! You'd think they would be a little better than snort and ferocious and ready to kill. Throughout this entire game, I've done nothing but bluster and threaten. I've had no opportunity to show my true skills as an actor, my depth and range. No one knows about my sensitivity, my gentle inner being. What is it now? What forever cast is heavy? No, how? I didn't catch some of that. You have to pause it and read it. Ooh, I'm glad that's all over. It was tough playing second banana to the week. <laughs> now I'm hungry, but I'm sick and tired of sunlight, sunlight, sunlight. It's a real food. <laughs> like a hamburger. Like How about a dog? No. In case you're wondering about me, don't worry. I'm doing just fine. Uh, in fact, I just talked with the designers and they have assured me that the sequel will be all about me. Isn't that great? <laughs> they said they wanted to move away from the warrior mythos and expand more into the healer cycle. This may be my big chance. The only thing I'm not sure about is the costume they want me to wear. Oh, I'm sure. Really? Reveal. Okay, yeah. Okay. Ah, I see someone approaches, but who is it? Ho oh, ho, it is the creature which I wrongly called a disgusting or concerned one! And a cowardly slug swan! And a pouchless lard log freak! And a leopardous non functional sex organ! And a one <laughs> Oh! Ah, my human friend has returned! So what am I doing here, you ask? I'm trying to get some rest, that's what! <laughs> I've been lucky! I don't have a heart attack soon! You have no idea how hard it is to personally replenish an entire species! <laughs> ah, a final parting with our favorite secrets of enlightenment! How sad! But wait! 
This doesn't have to be the end. We have established a direct conduit from the realms of harmonic awareness directly to you. You can use this channel to ask us questions about your past lives or your future destiny. Just call 1-900-BACUNKERA. <laughs> Only two bucks per minute. <laughs> oh my. So, I suppose you are wondering what I'm doing at this control console. Well, I guess I can tell you now. I'm writing a screenplay. Of course you are. It's... Kind of a cross between a Woody Allen angst fest misprism of Tober... I don't know who Tober Hooper is, but actually this is just... Oh yeah, of course. What I really want to do is direct. I hope you know that the contract negotiations are going to be very rough for my role in the sequel. Yes, rough indeed, to begin with. I want 10% of the royalties, creative control over my dialogue, and a fat cut of the toy licenses. What? What did you say? The sequel is going to be all about me? How wonderful! What an honor! What a great chance to move up the ladder towards... Producer. Forget everything I said about licensing fees. It's an honor just to work with you. Of course. Of course. Blah, blah, blah. Mary had a little lamb. I like to hold fuzzy little animals and give them huggy what? <laughs> you are probably wondering why an Urquan is saying such things. Well, it isn't saying them at all. I am. That's right. Me, the little guy down here in the corner. Since I've been st stuck down here for the entire game, translating submit or die into a hundred different languages, I thought <laughs> you want to know what I think. Yeah, sure, fine. Yes, what do you think? I think this whole game would have been better if they had done it as a musical. That's what I think. But do the designers listen to me? No. <laughs> oh no, it's one of those ultra gross humans again. Quick, hide your eye. Arg, oh, look at the pulpy red thing in its mouth. How it wiggles and writhes like a bl wet blood room and plays with the hard white nubs that protrudes from its head bone. I think I'm going to be sick. Is that all you have to say? We of the Erkwan Corps are the following the path of the now and forever. Yes. You are filth. We shall cleanse. You will be... Uh, what? <laughs> hey, Mr. Director, can you please think of some other words besides... <laughs> Anaglate? I mean, what's the use? I give up. Hey, human earthwing, come to say hi? Look, we are sorry for all that great enemy stuff. Must have been a leftover from talking pets composure or something. Yeah, I'm sure. An apology, we decide to present you the joke. It is infamous best joke in the galaxy. A super secret hush hush joke. Joke that has made humans, hundreds of Umka die from laughter. Oh, fantastic. So here it goes. How many Valer... What does it take to change a primitive... How many somethings does it take... How many aliens does it take to change light bulb? Well... <laughs> Four, of course. Har har har! Yes, har har har. I don't get it. 
I think that's a joke, is that I'm not supposed to get it. Because they... Yeah, okay, it's funny. Do you... Uh, do you really believe that Project Blue Book will be everything? Do you really know what happened in Roswell, New Mexico in the late 1940s? Have you ever heard about men that... Yeah, men in black. <laughs> That's a movie. Do you have any friends who have had missing days? Do you sleep with your window unlocked? No. Uh, be seeing... No. The end? Do the awesome music, of course. Is that, is that the end? I assume that's the end. So, if I hit, like, um, spacebar or something? Okay, that does something. And the main menu. So, I suppose that's going to wrap up the, um,. Star Control 2! That was awesome! I didn't really expect to go into that thinking that I was going to fail at voice acting about a billion times, but, you know, whatever. I'm sure you can all cringe at it all. Till I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing next. Probably be a break on my channel for a while, which is fine. I kind of flooded you all with Star Control 2. Uh, we'll figure something else out, I'm sure, in time. Maybe some awful trading company or some silliness like that. Uh, that was good. I, was, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you did. And and I'm sure there's other little secrets that I missed that need to be found. I'm thinking about a particular pen on Beetlejuice or something. But, uh, that's not not we're done. See y'all later.